This year's Class of 2023 Accelerated Degree Program Valedictorian is Christopher Lynch. Chris is an accomplished individual who has made significant contributions both in the classroom and in his community. Chris graduated with highest honors from the J.P. Burke School of Public Service and Education, earning an associate degree in early childhood education. He graduates today with a B.S. in child studies and a 4.0 GPA through both his associates and bachelors. In his community, Chris is a dedicated Prospect Historical Society board member, having served since 2016. In his role, he co-created and implemented a program for third grade students in the Historical Society. In addition, his commitment to helping struggling learners was demonstrated through his work in developing and implementing curriculum for students in a private educational facility. Add to this, Chris has shared in the care for both of his grandparents. His dedication to service and education makes him a valuable member of the community and a true asset to any career he is pursuing. Please join me in welcoming your 2023 ADP valedictorian, Christopher Lynch. Hello, fellow post-university graduates. We made it. <laughs> it is ironic that I am here today. Believe it or not, I had sent in my form stating that I was not going to attend the commencement ceremonies. I really like flying under the radar, and this is far from that. And quite honestly, I hate being singled out because I am certain that each of you has an extraordinary story to tell. We all face challenges and we all persevere despite them. Thus, here we are today. Before proceeding ahead, I would like to thank my fellow post-university graduates, the administration and faculty, as well as Dr. Johnson, President Hopkins, and honored guests for this incredible and once in a lifetime opportunity. I am truly honored to have been selected as Val Victorian. I would also like to thank my wonderful graduation team who has never left my side throughout this entire experience. Additionally, I'd like to thank a few special teachers, Professor Marie Russell, Professor Barbara Sagala, Professor Elsa Jones, Professor Kelly Lambert, and Professor Vivian Simmons. These were truly the best professors I have ever had. Lastly, <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to thank the best advisor in the entire world, Laura Amiot. <laughs> Above all, the glory belongs to God because without him, I would have never accomplished this in my wildest dreams. <laughs> I ask that you please bear with me as I am not one for public speaking. I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around the fact that I was chosen as Val Victorian. I can still remember exactly where I was when I received the news notifying me of this accomplishment. I was getting ready to take some clothes off the line on my family's back porch when I decided to check my school email as I was expecting to hear from one of my professors. As I was looking through my email, I noticed Dr. Johnson's name under new mail. I opened the email and was in utter disbelief. I thought it was a mistake. Secondly, I was trying to figure out a way to avoid telling my mother because she desperately wanted me to attend my graduation, and I did not. Obviously, you see who won. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> to some, my speech may sound rather morbid and dismal, but that is far from my intent. My speech is a story. It is a thank you letter. It is something written to inspire, encourage, and uplift. It shows that even when faced with adversity, it is best and always rewarding to continue forging ahead on the path before you. 
Jeremiah 29, 11 exclaims, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. As some of you know, my journey to this podium has certainly been unlike most. Many would call it untraditional. Some even questioned the choices I made because they went against the grain. In the words of Dean Whitley, I am somewhat of a unicorn. My education began in my living room as I was home educated from the time I was in preschool until graduating high school in 2017. Yes, you did the math right. It has taken me six years to get here. During my time being home educated, my mother taught my brother and me while my dad worked to support us all. Without the direction, guidance, and support of my mother and father, I'm not sure where I would be. They offered me continual encouragement and always believed in me even when I did not believe in myself. My not so little brother, Boo, was right alongside of them, always motivating me to continue on and being in charge of the entertainment department at our home. My family with their unwavering faithfulness have been my co-passengers for this entire journey. Thank you, I will forever be grateful. When I decided on post-university, I began on the beautiful post-campus. I opted to attend college part-time in order to get myself acclimated to a new environment and a new way of learning. It took me some time to realize that my decision was for a much greater reason. When the pandemic came about, classes transitioned online and I decided to continue learning this way for the remainder of my degree. Although difficult at first, this process was extremely rewarding as I truly got to experience many aspects of real adult life that I otherwise would have missed. Because sometimes our greatest lessons are those we learn outside the classroom, such as faithfulness, courage, love, and friendship. There were many ups and many downs throughout this time. My Nana was diagnosed with cancer, causing her to move in with us. She became an integral part of everyday life and truly showed us all what it was like to be brave. Even though her disease was terminal, she put on a smile each and every day and always made sure to ask how we were doing. My home and school life became one as my brother and I assisted in her care until her passing. I will forever be grateful for the lessons she taught through the way she courageously lived. As life would have it, there was soon another life-altering event when my grandma D fell and broke her hip. We again went into action and began to care for her, which was probably one of the hardest and most trying experiences. Her care grew exponentially as she was soon diagnosed with dementia, which took us on what I would call a frightening expedition into the unknown that lasted for seven years. The disease of dementia sometimes made it feel like we were on a never ending roller coaster of emotions. There was a lot of crying and a lot of laughing and sometimes even a lot of swearing, which was incredibly hard to believe because Grandma Dee never swore a day in her life. <laughs> Throughout this time, I was able to assist my mother with Grandma Dee's care. Every other week, we would pack up a large portion of our belongings and spend several days, sometimes the entire week, caring for her. Dementia is cruel as you slowly lose a small piece of someone you love each day, yet what always remains is love, and for that, I will forever be grateful. In the midst of this, sometimes unexpected friendships form. I was lucky enough to meet Vinny O. He was my grandpa's best friend and Grandma D was his wife's best friend. I began to stop in and visit him once a week, which was when we would share a cup of coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. He told me stories about my grandfather and I told him about school. We cleaned his yard and he showed me his garden. We talked about life and we're just there for one another to lean on until his passing a year ago this month. He was my biggest fan and always saw the best in me. This unique friendship offered us both faithful companionships for which I will forever be grateful. In the thick of such difficult situations and in the sadness of death, one might ask, why? As Jesus says in John 13, seven, you don't understand now what I am doing, but someday you will. Habakkuk 2, three offers a similar message. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. At the time, I could not even imagine the answer, but I do now, as I learned about faithfulness, courage, 
love, and friendship. In the words of Denzel Washington, at the end of the day, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments, who you've lifted, who you've made better, and what you've given back. Inspire is what I hope I did today, that giving back is what life is all about, and that taking the road less traveled is worth the wait. Thank you all for listening. I own... Thank you all for listening. I only wish we could hear each of your extraordinary stories. And with that, congratulations to the class of 2023.